Good afternoon. Welcome to downtown Salisbury. Welcome to Salisbury's Riverfront. And uh, welcome to uh, the capital of the Eastern Shore, our lovely city. I always appreciate when that's, that becomes an applause line. Thanks. Um, so uh, Ambassador Preek, Senator Cardin, Senator Van Hollen, Secretary Wobensmith, Colonel Novotny, Lieutenant Colonel Wolford, Council Members, Mr. County Executive, ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful day to be out here in downtown Salisbury. And what, and truly what an honor to be in such esteemed company. To uh, my colleagues and fellow soldiers, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Colonel Novotny, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Wolford, Captain Bay, Miss Kelly, um, I know I'm missing one other because I see another captain here. This is the second time in less than a month that I have had the privilege, privilege of welcoming my brothers and sisters in uniform to my beloved hometown. And I do so with a tremendous amount of pride and appreciation. And for anyone who doesn't know, Maryland has a close and enduring partnership with Estonia as part of the Department of Defense's state partnership program, whereby Army and Air National Guard forces of a particular state engage in joint security cooperation with another nation, and in our, in our case, Estonia. And that brings me to another partnership, the Sister City Program. In 2019, City Council President Jack Heath, City Administrator Julia Glanz, Grant Specialist Theo Williams and myself traveled to Tartu, Estonia, and Salisbury, England, two of our three sister cities. And we shared ideas with one another about entrepreneurship and innovation, about housing and homelessness, about transparency and data. And it was one of the most tangible exchanges of international friendship and cooperation that I have ever experienced in this job. So what does that have to do with today? What we're gathered, we're gathered here today at what was once the westbound approach of the Camden Street Bridge. For decades, that span was the primary means of crossing the Wicomico River into downtown Salisbury. Once vitally important in the transportation of goods from the fa farms of southern Wicomico County to the port of Salisbury, the Camden Street Bridge fell victim to progress as the Mill Street Bridge behind us took its place. That span, four lanes wide, five lanes wide really, created a sort of mini bypass, diverting traffic around the east end of downtown, the west end of downtown, excuse me, rather than bringing it directly into the heart of our city. It was a bridge, a connection, that directly and tangibly demonstrated the once inextricable link between neighborhoods and the market center of our town. And then it was gone. Today, after years of design and planning, plotting the course of the urban greenway that would connect Salisbury east to west along her waterfront, today we restore that pan, span of Camden Street. And we take another in the long march of steps toward a rising Salisbury. Long part of our downtown and Riverwalk master plans, this bridge has been envisioned as a part of the network of bike, paths, walking routes, and trails that will ultimately connect our city from Naylor Mill Park to Fruitland, from Pemberton Park to the Ward Museum. This pedestrian bridge, in concert with the beautiful new roundabout behind us and the art at the center of it, make it possible for our residents of the Camden and Riverside neighborhoods to make their way safely into downtown Salisbury on, on foot for the first time in decades, and to do so while never having to cross more than 11 feet of traffic at a time. Those residents will experience a core filled with more restaurants, more apartments, more festivals, and more people than ever before, all thanks to this newly restored connector. That's what connections do. They provide us with the opportunity to experience new things, things we couldn't previously see up close. This span crosses the Wicomico River, just about 80 feet in length. Our sister city partnership with Tartu is one that spans some 4,400 miles. That relationship is a bridge that carries the wealth of new experiences and goodwill, but also solutions to common challenges in both directions. And that's why I'm honored to declare that Salisbury's new pedestrian footbridge will be named the Salisbury Tartu Friendship Bridge.
So I've read of the Tartu Stone Bridge, opened in 1784, which stood for 160 years before being destroyed during World War II. A replica of a stone from that bridge sits in my office today. Just as that bridge was once hand-built in the city of good thoughts, so too was the bridge placed here, built by very able hands out of our own citizens. The hours that the team at Mertec put together into building it, our very own Department of Infrastructure and Development in engineering it, building and placing this bridge are part of a proud period of renaissance brought forth by the hands of the people of this town. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I'd like to bring greetings from Mayor Urmas Klaas, the mayor of Tartu, and a friend of mine. He sent us a letter and it reads as follows. Dear friends in Salisbury, I'm delighted that a bridge in a city we're twinned with is set to gain a name linked to Tartu. We here are very grateful and proud to receive such recognition. There's always been something special about bridges for the cities that build them and the people who use them. Bridges are more than the sum of their parts. They have the ability to simultaneously bring people together and send them on their way along new paths to new discoveries. Tartu is also a city of bridges with seven spanning its river and two adorning its parks. They're part of, what's give, they're part of what gives the place its distinctive look and what unites the districts and people of the city. But there's another aspect to bridges too one that twin cities are familiar with. Whether those cities are within a metaphorical stone's throw of one another or separated by half the globe, they're linked by bridges of friendship. And by that I mean truly linked. Tartu and Salisbury have enjoyed a friendship of many years and that's reflected through both thought and deed. Tartu will serve as one of three European capitals of culture in 2024, for which we've come up with the slogan, Arts of Survival. With the exciting and wide-ranging program we've put together for the year, we won't just be focusing on Tartu's arts of survival in the European context, but looking at the bigger global context, and encouraging our friends and anyone like-minded to do the same. I sincerely hope that the bridge of friendship between Salisbury and Tartu remains standing in every sense for many years to come. Signed, Ormas Klaas, Mayor of Tartu. In just a moment, I'm going to invite up Secretary Woben Smith, the Secretary of State for the State of Maryland. Mr. Secretary, thank you for being here in your capacity as a representative of, of the Governor's Office, as Secretary of State, and as Chair of the Governor's Subcabinet on International Affairs. We welcome you and we thank you for representing Governor Hogan as well. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mayor Day, uh, for welcoming us to Salisbury on this beautiful afternoon and, and for your special commitment to the Salisbury Tartu relationship. Uh, Ambassador Preek, uh, nice to see you again and welcome uh, once again to Maryland. Uh, we're very pleased to have you here today and for this ceremony, which is again another milestone in the long-term continuing relationship and partnership between Maryland and Estonia. Uh, as many of you know, the Embassy of Estonia has played a key role <clears throat> over the years in sustaining these ties, and I'd like to personally thank Ambassador Preek and his staff for their continued support. I want to thank also all the community members who have joined us today, uh, especially the Maryland Estonia Sister State Committee and Sister City Volunteers, many of whom, Ambassador, you met uh, two weeks ago on a Saturday uh, in, uh, in Montgomery County. And uh, the, that committee's hard work and dedication really is paramount to the success of this partnership. As many of you know, but I think it's good to remember, that this relationship dates back to the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War in 1991. Some but not necessarily all of you know that in 1993, the Maryland National Guard was partnered with Estonia and the civilian component was integrated into this partnership early on. Maryland State Partnership Program with Estonia began the platform for people-to-people -people exchanges between the two regions, which led to the establishment of 10 sister city relationships and one sister state relationship. The sister states MOU established between Maryland and Haju County, Estonia was signed in 2009. 10 years later, in 2019, Maryland signed the MOU with the country of Estonia. And out of the sister city and sister state partnerships really came university partnerships. And Salisbury University, of course, has maintained an active exchange partnership 
with the University of Tartu for nearly a decade. And over the past five years, the University of Maryland Eastern Shore has also joined in that partnership. And hopefully with the return of travel one of these days, there'll be more Estonian students in Salisbury and, and in Maryland and more Marylanders in Estonia very soon, we hope. Cultural programming is another area where Sister State partnership has thrived. And the Maryland Sister State relationship with Estonia remains active because of the Estonian diaspora that living here in Maryland, in Maryland who are really totally committed to the promulgation of these linkages. And I've seen that as a special relationship for quite a long time, particularly in sister states. Uh, it's the, the people that, that support this are just fully dedicated. And again, the ambassador uh, saw that a couple weeks ago when we had a meeting of, of the group. So I want to thank everybody uh, today who made this event possible. It's certainly wonderful to see the Maryland-Estonian friendship that continues on and, and we know it's going to exceed and go even more in the future. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. Mr. Secretary, thank you so much. Um, Senator Van Hollen, Senator Cardin, um, your relationship with each other and your tireless dedication to this state and to, de to delivering results for your constituents makes you beacons of integrity at a moment when so much of our nation is caught up in personality politics. And um, I just want to say thank you for that. <laughs> On top of that, I understand that it is a busy time <laughs> in Washington. And uh, you have each taken the time to be here today. Um, so starting with Senator Van Hollen, I'd like to ask you each to come forward to make some remarks. Right. Thank you, Jay. Well, let me start by thanking the people of the great city of Salisbury and the leaders of this community uh, for bringing us together for this special occasion. And of course, uh, to the people of Estonia, Mr. Ambassador, it's wonderful to see you. Uh, and Mayor Day, let me thank you. Um, let me thank you for the leadership you've provided here in the city to help revitalize this wonderful place, but also your leadership on behalf of the country uh, in your service uh, of the National Guard, including your recent deployment on the combined joint task force in the Horn of Africa. Thank you for that dedicated uh, service as part of the National Guard and to all the members of the Guard. Thank you for your service. Um, and as Secretary of State Wobensmith indicated, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for your leadership, uh, this relationship between the United States and Estonia originally began um, at the end of the Cold War through the National Guard with the Estonian military, especially focused in the area of cybersecurity. But then it evolved and grew uh, into the sister city dimension. And as this bridge signifies the relationship between the United States and Estonia, between Maryland and Estonia, between Salisbury and Tartu goes beyond a military re relationship to that very deep relationship between people and people, exchange of ideas, exchange of culture, exchange of commerce. And I want to also thank my colleague here, uh, Senator Cardin, uh, because we both serve on the Senate Foreign Relations uh, Committee uh, together. And Senator Cardin also heads a commission uh, focused on enforcing and trying to make sure that we support democracies around the world, human rights around the world, the rule of law around the world, that we stand up uh, together with our friends and partners against authoritarian regimes. Uh, and part of that effort is deepening these important ties between our countries, our country, and friends like Estonia. Uh, Ambassador Preek, let me Thank you. I know you're no stranger to the United States. Um, you're new to this particular role, and we welcome you again uh, as ambassador. But uh, Ambassador Preek has been assigned to the uh, Estonian Embassy in Washington on two previous occasions. Uh, so you know well the deep relationships uh, between 
our two countries. And I want to thank you for all you're doing to further deepen uh, those relationships, including being here today uh, to dedicate uh, the Salisbury Tartu Friendship uh, Bridge. Uh, you know what this signifies. It signifies those deep connections uh, between our countries and also our commitment to further expand uh, those connections. Uh, and I was pleased to see uh, recently that uh, Secretary Raimondo, who's the Secretary of Commerce um, in the Biden administration, traveled to Tallinn as part of the digital summit where we work to bridge the digital divide in our different countries and around uh, the world. I also want to salute uh, the Maryland-Estonian Exchange Council, uh, who was recognized by the Secretary. Thank you for all your work and the Salisbury Sister City Committee, and especially for your work to bring our countries closer through the student exchanges between Salisbury University and the University of Tartu. Uh, I think we all recognize um, that the next generation of leadership uh, is going to be built through those kind of relationships. And uh, just as this bridge signifies uh, a stronger connection between the people of the United States and the people of Estonia, between the people of Salisbury and the people of Tartu, it also represents, in my view, that footpath to the future uh, that we want to walk together as friends. And so thank you all uh, for making this possible. Uh, and Mr. Ambassador, uh, Thank you and all the people of Estonia for your deep friendship represented here today. Thank you so much. So as I mentioned, I'm next going to call up Senator Cardin, but I do want to add, and I know it's been alluded to, but although I was gone for a year, I was still so proud to witness at times, even from overseas, um, the leadership of, of our two United States Senators. And uh, I, I know I've shared that with you privately, but Senator Cardin, I appreciate that very much. Well, Mayor Day, first, uh, congratulations and thank you. Senator Van Hollen and I are honored to represent Salisbury in the United States Senate under your extraordinary leadership. Uh, Mayor Day has served the public in so many different ways. You already heard about his military service, what an exemplary model he is uh, for other people in public service. Mayor Day, I've been coming to Salisbury for many, many years, including the time when I was in the General Assembly and I met with the city leaders and they shared the vision of Salisbury's future. It's a great city and they wanted to make sure it had a future. You've delivered on that future. You have, you have made this a reality. Look behind us at this waterfront uh, that has uh, turned into reality for the future of Salisbury. Uh, you know, yes, Senator Van Hollen and I worked very hard to get resources to our communities. And yes, I was proud to author the transportation alternative programs. We talked about that often. So that some of our transportation money can be directed by local governments to do things like pedestrian trails and bike trails and, and make a city accessible. But you have to have the leadership in the city to make that a reality. Mayor Day has brought that leadership here in Salisbury. So thank you so much for that extraordinary leadership. So Myrna and I were in Estonia in July. I, the ambassador knows this. We had a chance to visit. I had a chance to, to visit with Prime Minister Kalis and have talk about some of the issues that are confronting Estonia today. And I must tell you, the United States does not have a stronger ally in our fight to preserve democracy than our friendship and ally with Estonia. They're a great partner of the United States. They give hope to the people of Belarus that there are better days coming and that we need to get rid of the dictatorship of Lushenko. They give a voice to the opposition in Russia that is trying to stand up for what is right. And our partnership allows that to continue. You see, Estonia is a NATO partner. So whereas they have our back in protecting democracy in their region of the world, we have their back to make sure Russia doesn't fool around with Estonia. 
And that partnership, I, we saw it firsthand. We went up to Narva. Narva is a small town on the border between uh, Russia and it's, it's Estonian town. But right on the Russian border, we, we saw the Russian uh, patrol boats come within about 100 yards of us. We saw the daily risks that, that Estonia has to deal with. It's a real, real risk today. And they stand strong on behalf of democracy. To our Maryland National Guard, this partnership between the Maryland National Guard and Estonia is, is the model partnership that is referred to often as the best example of military to military cooperation. It started right after Est Estonia got their freedom back from the Soviets. And they, we helped in their path towards reestablishing their democracy. It started to make sure that those roots were strong. I was in Estonia at that time also. I was there under the Helsinki Commission because Estonia has a large Russian-speaking population. And as the fall of the Iron Curtain, there was a concern as to whether the new country's democracies could protect all the people, including minorities. Estonia became the model for how everyone can live together. And as Senator Van Hollen has said, that the, these partnerships that we're doing, we, we fight for the understanding, what we do in the Helsinki Commission. The Helsinki Commission, I'm honored to chair, believes that if we can understand each other, we can live in peace. So I am so happy to be here for this partnership of people to people. Again, Mayor Dake, thank you for your partnership city with Tartu people to people. I thank our Maryland National Guard for their partnership with the Estonians, military to military. It's that type of partnership that brings greater understanding in this world and a greater peace for the world, people of the world. So this really is a, a, just a proud moment. It's not the first sister city that, uh, that Salisbury's participated in, and I understand you also have a sister city with Salisbury, UK. I wonder how you picked that city. <laughs> but you have reached out in so many different ways in order to make this world, your community, stronger and the world safer. It is a real honor to represent you in the United States Senate. And to Mr. Ambassador, we know, they say we have a busy schedule. I know you have a busy schedule also. Thank you for coming to Salisbury. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for the partnership between our two countries. Uh, we could not have a stronger friend in Estonia. And that people to people is also strengthened through our diaspora. We have a strong Estonian community uh, in Maryland. And I must tell you, I've, I meet with them and it helps us in strengthening our partnerships and strengthening our resolve for democracy. It's an honor to be with you today. Senator, thank you. Ambassador Preek, it's an honor to welcome you in the spirit of friendship. Salisbury and Tartu entered into partnership as sister cities in 1999. By the way, we're also sister cities with Salinas, Ecuador. Seemed like a good vacation spot. <laughs> uh, the relationship, Mr. Ambassador, between us has proven itself a model for just how meaningful and fruitful each partnership can be educational partnership between our universities, cultural exchange opportunities, exchanges of institutional knowledge and insight between our executive and legislative teams. And today we celebrate another milestone in that long mutually beneficial relationship as we dedicate this bridge. Mr. Ambassador, thank you for being here. Thank you, Mayor Day. Thank you, Senators Gordon, Van Hollen. Thank you, Secretary Bobensmith. Thank you, all the guests today. What are they? What are they for doing things to, to, uh, that talk about friendship? What are they, uh, what are they to, to look forward to the, to the weekend ahead of us? <laughs> but certainly, what are they to, to open a new landmark 
uh, here in Salisbury. As you can suspect, I had pre-written notes with me, but these emotions that I've already experienced here, these speeches that, that, that I've already heard today, these meetings with, with you, uh, dear visitors, have, made, have rendered these notes completely useless. <laughs> so I'm just trying to say a few words purely based on these emotions that I've uh, received here. As I, uh, as I told some other people before, I was counting the minutes. Now it's 68 minutes that I've been to Salisbury today. And uh, I'm, I've enjoyed these, all of these minutes in their entirety so very much. It's a, it's a great city. You, Mr. Mayor, Mayor Day, you are showing great amount of leadership and, and uh, the leadership that, uh, that every mayor or every city would uh, expect from their mayors. And of course, senators. Estonia, as one of the captain nations during the, during the Cold War time, we knew that uh, if there is a glimmer of hope in the, in the world that at times seemed to be really dark. And this glimmer of hope was the resolve, the, I would say, stubbornness of the United States to never really recognize the occupation and annexation of the Soviet Union, of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, our uh, neighbors uh, to the south. And we knew that uh, that there was always bipartisan support within the U.S. Congress, and particularly on the Senate, at, uh, in the Senate. After all, they say that the uh, Senate is where the true statesmen are, right? <laughs> and and we all can uh, uh, we got, we all can witness this uh, right uh, right now uh, today. Now, as Mir Mir Klaus of Tartu said in his letter, bridges are not only a nice piece of, and probably one of the most classic piece, pieces of infrastructure. And infrastructure, I, I do get it, it's a uh, uh, very hot topic today. <laughs> but, uh, but bridges are also the symbols of, uh, of people, individual people, and uh, symbol of uh, nations being brought together, doing great things together. As it has mentioned today several times, the, the relationship that Maryland and Estonia has, the relationship that uh, uh, Salisbury and Tartu has, it started from maybe unorthodox un or unusual roots from the middle to middle uh, relationship. At the same time, the people who work together, uh, uh, the people from uh, Maryland National Guard who work together with Estonian uh, uh, military, they understood that the, the way they clicked, so to say, was so good that uh, uh, this uh, partnership, this sense of uh, brotherhood, should not only be uh, uh, kept to the military domain. So uh, my, my first posting in Washington started in 2002. And on one of the very first days, it may have been actually the fir very first day, I, rec I received a, uh, a call from 10, co uh, ten Colonel Milton Davis from uh, Maryland National Guard, who told me, hey, I'm Milt, and I want you to know that there is this relationship between Estonia and, uh, and uh, Maryland, and uh, I want you to be part of it, because this is important. I'm very glad that the uh, retired uh, Colonel uh, Milton Davis is uh, uh, here today, sitting there uh, with, uh, with his uh, wife, Elizabeth. And that, and that there are so many other citizen diplomats, so to say, who have uh, taken this uh, relationship uh, uh, on from its roots, so that now we have 
different breaches to different uh, directions be between uh, uh, Estonia and Merle. There are nine different uh, 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 city, uh, sister, sister city relationships. They all are unique, but they, they, but most of them, most of them, sort of revolve uh, around the uh, the topics of economic development, culture, cultural cooperation, and educational cooperation. All these relationships are built on something in the DNA of these cities that connect them. I think that in the case of Salisbury and Tartu, and by the way, Tartu is a very dear city to me personally, because I studied in the University of Tartu. My wife is from Tartu, <laughs> so, so uh, this is a really special city uh, to me. I think in the case of Salisbury and Tartu, one thing that definitely is very common in their DNA is uh, the university. Universities bring the young people, uh, bring sort of youthful thinking in the most positive way. On, on, on our way here, uh, together with uh, Mayor Day, we talked about the things that youth bring to, uh, uh, to the cities. And not, not all of things are, uh, are, are always that popular. <laughs> but. Uh, but then again, universities make the, uh, the cities and their people to look to the future and take these cities, their counties, and their states uh, uh, to, to the future. So I'm incredibly glad to be in the, uh, in the city. This is not my first time to be in Salisbury. I, I, I was here w together with the delegation from the city of Tartu in 2005 as well. I'm, I'm really glad to see this uh, dynamism, this uh, uh, youthful drive that I see in, uh, in the city and the development that is going on. I'm so very proud to have a sister, uh, sister city uh, for the city of Tartu in, the, uh, in this part of Maryland in, in the so city of Salisbury. As the mayor of Tartu mentioned, in in 2024, the city of Tartu will uh, be celebrated as the cultural capital of Europe. And I hope that uh, this will give a further possibility to look ahead uh, to the future of this uh, sister city relationship and think whether there are things that can be done together in Tartu, in Salisbury, and maybe something over the breaches, I don't know, over, uh, over the airwaves, uh, as we've uh, 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 gotten, gotten so accustomed to during the last 18 months. But people-to-people -people relations still matter, no matter how many Zoom meetings we've had. <laughs> so, uh, as, you, as I said before, my pre-written notes uh, became useless, so uh, please excuse my... Uh, 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 too many words maybe but uh, I'm so proud to be here today I'm so happy to be here uh, as a visitor of um, Mayor Day and uh, please consider Tartu the friend of your, yours and please consider Estonia a really determined uh, friend of uh, Maryland and of the United States of America we've been together in Iraq in Afghanistan in, in many, uh, many other uh, overseas uh, military operations, we know that there will be times when we have to stand together doing, doing certain things. I don't know whether it's on land or sea or in the air or in the cyberspace, but we know that uh, there are friends there, and please do consider us your friends.